for this video, what I want to do is show you how to put two different data sets on the same scatter plot. Um, and then also I want to show you how to find the line of best fit for these and also the correlation coefficient. Okay, so what I have here is some data. Um, this data happens to be made up. I just needed to come up with a data set that would work. Um, so these are years since 1980. So this represents like 1983, 1985. Whenever you're dealing with years, it's always the best um, to put it as years since because it does impact the slope of the line. So like year 17 would be 1997. And then I have over here the population of city A and B in thousands. So this is like 120,000, 124,000, etc. So what I want to do is put both of these on the same graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight both of these data sets. If you get this quick analysis tool, you can click on that and select charts and then go to a scatter plot chart. Um, if you don't, and you can even go to more, um, if you don't get this little icon down here, then what you can do is go up here to insert and it gives you recommended charts. So a recommended chart would be a scatter plot. You can go to all charts. You can go to sc the XY scatter plots um, and then you can select the one. If you look over it, it'll show you this will give us three different series, which is not what I want. OK, that will just give me an individual. And then this one will put both of them on the same one. So I'm going to start with this one right here. Um, the series one, series two, and click OK. And so it plugs us into here. Well, this has some things that it's it's missing that I would like it to include. So I'm going to go to the quick layout over here and I'm going to select the one that gives me the line of best fit um, with the actual equation. So this one gives me the line of best fit with the equation. So I'm going to select it. OK, and I'm going to move some things around so that I can see it better. This is the equation that correlates with the first series, and this is the equation that correlates with the second series. OK, um, your colors may be different. I had messed with my page layout and changed colors, so your colors might be different when you start, but you can always change that. OK, so the first one, it does give us our equation, but we want this to make sense to anybody looking at it. So we do want to add our axis title. So if I click on the bottom one, um, this would be our year. OK, since 1980 and it populated that. Whoops, I was in. Yep, it was the right one. And then I'm going to click the axis title and this is the population. And it's important to put it in thousands so that anybody looking at it knows that it's in thousands and so they know how to read that. OK, um, the other thing that I want to do is I want to change this so we know what series one and series two represent. So what you can do is click this little chart filters icon um, and I am using 2016. So your Excel might do this slightly different, but you can change the series one. So I'm going to highlight on series one. In series one, if you notice over in the left hand side, it's highlighting what you're talking about. So it shows you the value. So what I'm going to do is for series one, I'm going to type in that this represents city A. So whatever this city represents, I'm going to do that. OK, and series two, I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to click the little filter series two and it shows you again which data it's talking about. So we can see that that's talking about city B. So I'm going to change series um, to city B and then we're going to click OK and now my legend makes sense. It tells me that this line represents city A, um, this line represents city B and if you don't like the colors you can always go and change your colors. Um, like I may check this one, I may try a couple different ones to see which one I like better. Um, if you don't like any of the color choices over here, what you can do is you can go to your page layout and you can select different themes. Um, so you may like a blue theme or a, a different theme. So you can go over here and select different themes and it'll change your color palette. You can also change which colors you want to choose from. So like I may want to change from the blue and green. OK, and it'll change the colors in here. Um, I'm just going to hit control Z and just go back to the blue and red because that makes sense. It's fine. All right, so now let's talk about how can I find the correlation. So we have R squared, which tells us what percentage of our variability is explained by this data. So 98.86% of this data is explained by this line. OK, and this one, approximately 95% of the data is explained by this line. So this one's a little bit stronger. 
Okay, we can see from the slope um, that the population is decreasing over time since it's negative. So when we come up with the correlation for city B, um, we should end up with a negative correlation. And for city A, we will end up with a positive trend line because it's increasing over time. So it does give you all of the values. Um, remember that the 200.37 would be the y-intercept and the 121.36 would be the y-intercept. So that would be based on the prediction equation, um, what the starting value is. So notice it is different than the original starting values because the prediction equation um, does change. Okay, um, so for the correlation, what we wanna do is we're going to type in equals C-O-R-R, -R, and then we're gonna select this one and you have to double click it. Sometimes it makes you click it several times. And this one does have two components in order to calculate it. The first thing that you need to do is find your X values. So our X values are zero to 17, and then you're gonna separate it with a comma. And then you're gonna go to the popular, or the city that you're talking about. So this one's talking about city A. So I'm going to do that and then just hit enter and it'll automatically calculate the correlation for you. So the correlation, as we already discussed, is a very strong, um, we do see a linear trend in the data. So we know that a line is appropriate. So we would report the correlation. If we did not see a linear trend, you don't report the correlation because correlation is only used for linear data sets. Okay, so the correlation of city B, to find it, we would do the same thing. We're gonna type in the equals the CO, R until we get the core L, that stands for the correlation. Select our X values, and this time our Y values are going to be city B. Whoops, I forgot to hit the comma first. Getting ahead of myself, so let me hit the comma. And then go to city B and highlight, okay? And then just hit enter, and notice, as I stated earlier, it will be negative because of the fact that there is a negative slope, and the correlation always corresponds to the slope. Um, the last thing that I realized I did not do was change the chart title. So we could maybe change this to comparison of two populations. Okay. Um, and then that way, anybody looking at this title um, knows what you're talking about. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you didn't understand something in the video, please let me know. If there's additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.